So guys, look, on today's show, it is all about a show of firsts. I am talking the pecan shell from Smoking Pecans. My name is Tommy, and of course, this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue and Griddle. If this is the first time here, please consider to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. On today's show, it is all about my interpretation of a Nashville hot chicken. It is going to be a spatched cocked chicken. We are going to get some spicy rub on it. We are going to get it in my Z Grill 700, and we are going to smoke it low and slow between 225 and 250 while we baste it with a spicy butter sauce but look that's the recipe what i am more interested in is these pecan pellets i've heard good things from my buddy tom horseman tom horseman youtube i've used the pecan shells a few times once on film I'll drop that link up top there and a couple times off film just to figure out how to layer it in with the fuel. But this is my first time using these pecan pellets and I am definitely super jacked. It is supposed to bring a whole different flavor to what you are cooking. It has a uh, different smell where supposedly you know you're not smoking with wood. Let's bring the cameras over here and let's just take a quick peek at the pellets. Launched in December 2022, smoking pecan pellets are 100% pecan shells. There are no fillers, no oils, binders, and definitely no hard wood. These shells will burn slower, burn better than all hard woods, leaving you with that smoky, sweet flavor that you desire. And most importantly, no trees are ever destroyed in the harvesting of these shells. We will hear a lot more about this product in the next couple months. I can guarantee to you that but the real proof is definitely in that smoky flavor so let's get on over to my z let's load it up with those pellets fire it up and start the show all righty guys so look as the uh, pit comes up to temp i do have a simple rub here to put together let's put that together let's move the bird over here let's rub that down and by then our pit should be preheated and ready to go Always remember, full ingredient list can be found under the show notes. And also of note, that is a, a spatched cocked chicken. There are many videos on YouTube how to do that. And you definitely want to uh, season up the underside first, then flip it, and then season up your presentation side. Definitely pull that skin back. You want to get plenty of seasoning on that breast and all over the wings, the legs, you know the deal. Now I do like to uh, season up my bird a good half hour before I get it on the uh, get it on the pit. Bring it up to room temperature. That is very important. And that looks pretty good to me. We will get the uh, bird in the pit. The pit has come up to temp. And also notice I have a probe up top. And also I will put a probe in the, uh, in the bird. I want to monitor this cook precisely. As you definitely do not want to overcook any type of poultry. Especially a chicken. Yeah. So one observation that I've had is uh, coming in from the house to the shack. Making that walk. I can pick up the scent that somebody in town is smoking, and that somebody is definitely me. I mean, we are talking all the way back from the deck. I don't remember picking up that, uh, picking up that scent with a regular pellet, not that far away. Anyway, I am telling you one thing, man. These, uh, these pellets definitely lay down the smoke. I mean, my pit is smoking more than a regular pellet. There is no doubt about it. And you can tell immediately that it is not a regular wood pellet. It is more of a sweeter type smell. So I am definitely, uh, definitely a little excited about all that that is happening. Let's get on over to the pit. We are about an hour in, about 110 internal. I do have a quick butter sauce to mix up. Let's mix that up. Let's get it in the pit and I'll bring you guys back at that first baste. That is one stick of salted butter. That is about two tablespoons of cayenne pepper and about a teaspoon of two of Frank's Red Hot. Yeah. We will get that in the pit. She will melt down slow and we will baste it in a bit. Yeah. 
We are about an hour 45 in and we are about 135 to 140 internal. That is a good time to start basting it. And we will, we will baste it, you know, two, three times depending on the, uh, on the temperature. Once we hit 160 or so, we definitely want to pull it off. And you do want to leave about 10 minutes, 15 minutes in between basting because you want that skin to crisp back up. Yeah. I can tell you that basting sauce was top notch with that uh, the sweetness, the saltiness of the uh, the butter and the spiciness of that Frank's Red Hot and cayenne pepper. Yeah. So we are about two and a half hours in. We're showing about 162 internal, thickest part of the breast. That is good enough for me. We will get some carryover on the board to that safe zone of 165. And again, I gotta tell you, this sucker is smoking like I've never seen a pellet smoke before. Let's go in, let's get the bird off, let's get it on the board, it's gotta rest. Then I'll bring you guys back and we will slice it up. So as we pull this bird and looking back on this cook, I could tell you that these, uh, I do believe these pellets are a game changer in the, uh, in the pellet world uh, as they, uh, they add a different kind of smoke flavor than the uh, normal pellet. Forget the cherry, forget the oak, forget all that jazz. These are different. And uh, the flavor of this bird, even my wife said, you know, wow, this is good. And that was about two and a half hours after I cooked it. We absolutely loved the flavor. It wasn't too overpowering and it just paired up so good. Alrighty guys, let's slice it open and let's see how we did. So I do believe the bird has a pretty decent color considering we use no BBQ sauces on it, just that butter basting. Skin was definitely crispy. And the bird, as you'll see, is definitely a juicy. Oh, yeah. I mean, I do believe chicken is one of the, uh, the, 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 the less utilized in the uh, barbecue smoking world. Oh yeah, got a little bite. And that is perfectly cooked. I mean, there is no short of juices, that is for sure. I gotta say, man, it is a, uh, oh man, that's good. So there is definitely a, uh, man, it's so hard, it, it's so hard, but there is definitely a, uh, there is definitely a different type of flavor. It is, uh, it tastes smoked. There is no doubt about that. I, you know, maybe a little bit of sweetness. It has a little bit of sweetness to it. I mean, the bird itself is super, super juicy. So I get it there. I definitely get a hit there. And it is definitely, it, it is different. And it has got that, like I said, man, you can taste the sweetness. It has a little bit of... It's almost like a natural sweetness. I mean, one thing's for sure, man. This sucker was nailed, man. This is uh, this is juicy, man. This is smoky. This is sweetnessy. Good. Mm. Oh yeah, guys. I'm wondering. I'm wondering the longer this sits. Uh, this is for dinner tonight. We're still in the. Uh, we're still in the afternoon here in the Garden State. I am wondering what kind of flavor this is gonna take on as it sits. You know, a lot of times when we sit these uh, smoked meats, they take on more of a smoky flavor. I am real curious to see what happens with this. Cause I gotta say, man, I could taste it more now, 10 minutes later than before. So look, man, that is gonna do it for this one, man. Uh, you're gonna see more on these, uh, on these pecan pellets in the future, that is for sure. 
there is a lot, man. This is something different, man. This is, uh, you know, this is advancements in the uh, in, in the pellet industry for uh, smoking meats, because it is definitely a, a different flavor and, and po quite possibly even a better flavor. There's no doubt about that. I will have all information down below on these pecan pellets. So that is gonna do it for this one. Again, my name is Tommy. I appreciate you all for coming along. I do have a YouTube join button right down there if you so choose to support the show that way. Also my uh, Patreon members if you want to support me that way. Or also watch it from uh, start to finish and comment down below. And of course thumbs up, like the video, you know the deal. And that is going to do it for this one. Until next time, we will see you soon.